Hey everyone, it's Adam, also known as Depth, and this is going to be a full comprehensive guide on how to stake on Edgeware, including account creation. So first step is to get to the polkadot.js web extension. Uh, you can download it here. I'll leave a link in the description. And then once you have that set up, it'll look something like this. I already have two accounts set up, but I'm going to go through quickly how to make an account. So you click uh, the plus button and create an account, and then you'll see your recovery phrase. So you want to probably write that down or save it somewhere uh, discreetly. So I'm just going to copy mine because I'm going to immediately uh, delete this account after. All right, I have saved my recovery phrase. And before you continue, you have to say, I have saved my seed safely. Then you'll want to choose the Edgeware network for the chain you want to use. And then uh, this is just to give it the account a name. So I'm just going to call mine test. And then you give the password that you want to use. And there you go. So there's the account. And then if I just refresh here, it should come up. And there it is. So now I'm just going to delete this account. By the way, the website I'm using is edgeware.app. You can find a link for it in the description down below. I'm just going to refresh the page, and now it's gone. So now we're going to start staking. So we recommend having two accounts, uh, one being the stash and the other controller account. You don't need to use two accounts, but it's uh, suggested so you can keep some kind of financial privacy if you wish to. The controller account is the one that uh, signs all the transactions, and then the stash account is where you keep uh, the majority of the funds that you're staking. So we'll go to network and staking, and there'll you know, be some information up at the top about uh, validators and how many people are nominating and the inflation rate and all that good stuff. And you can see them all here and see all the data and information. So we'll go into account actions. And we're going to click nominator. And make sure you have the correct accounts. So I have mine labeled accordingly. <laughs> and this is where you choose uh, how much you want to stake. So I'm just going to stake 100 from my stash account. And for payment destination, this is kind of where uh, your staking rewards are going to go to. So you can either restake them or you can put them to the side or put them into the controller account. So I'm going to restake mine, which is uh, increase the amount at stake. So I'm going to click next. And this is where you choose your validators. Uh, so kind of do your research on good validators to pick. I'll leave a link in the description for, you know, what to look for uh, when choosing good validators. So you can choose up to 16 in total, 
And I'll also add a resource on how nominated proof of stake works as well. Uh, so basically, just don't follow exactly what I'm doing. I'm just picking a bunch of random validators. And yeah, so sign and submit. I'm going to put in my password. All right, it went through. So now we're currently staking. And if you click the three dot menu here, uh, there's you have some choices. So you can uh, change your staking and or you can bond more funds if you want to. Um, but yeah, that three dot menu is kind of where you edit stuff. All right, so now I'm going to go over the unstaking process. So uh, you can also like click down here and kind of keep track of who you're staking and stuff like that. So to start the unstaking process, you first press the stop button over to the right over here. And then you just sign and submit. And then put in your password. So once you've stopped staking, the next thing is that you need to unbond your funds. So we're going to click unbond funds and make sure you put in the amount that you want to unstake or you can click there to unbond all and then sign and submit. All right, cool. So after that, uh, it'll take around 14 days to unbond. So after 14 days is up, you'll see withdraw and unbond funds come up. And uh, you can see there for the amount of time uh, that's left. It says uh, 56 eras, which equate to 14 days, basically, because an era on Edgeware is six hours long. All right, so I'm going to check back in about 14 days, and I'll withdraw the funds, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so it's two weeks later now. I'm going to click the three-dot menu button here. And I can say withdraw and unbond funds. Then I'm going to sign and submit. Then just put on my password off screen. And there you go. Now it's uh, unstaked and withdrawn. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow us on Twitter and join our Discord server. Links are in the description.